everybody. This is Mike Walden. I'm standing about a mile and a half from the Super Dave Studios out here on the famous Super Dave tarmac, where this evening the Super One will conclude his show with what I believe to be the most exciting and dangerous stunt this human dynamo has ever attempted. And I can tell by hearing the familiar roar of the world famous antique motorcycle and sidecar that the Super One has arrived on the scene, accompanied by his faithful companion, Fuji Hakayito. Uh, great to see you again, as always. Hello, Super. Great show, absolutely. Yeah, look, thank you very much, Michael. And, uh... What's wrong? You see, I told you. Is that your coat? Yes, yes, that's my coat, How sure. How many times have I told the two of you, when you send something to the laundry, put your label in it? Anyway, I've got some good news for you, Mike really? Walden. Oh, I good. just received a phone call from the North American Women's Caucus. And they said, Super, because of Mike Walden's charm, his wit, and his overall intelligence on television, you have been voted Massingale Man of the Month. Well, I tell you. Uh, it's such an honor. Every well, time we get you. an award on the compound, I feel great. Well, Super, you deserve it. thank you very much. But we're all so excited about this stunt that you're going to perform this evening. Well, it's a, a real thrill-seeker for me. Uh, it's kind of easy, but it's going to look sensational. And uh, I said, Fuge, let's come up with something that is kind of a skyrocket stunt where uh, I can shoot in the air yeah. and maybe float a little bit. Uh -huh. And he's come up with a winner tonight. Fuji, what do you call this stunt? Chair ski ride to death. Chair ski ride to death? Yes, it's a very whimsical kind of feeling. <laughs> and basically, Fuji, if you'll explain it. Super day. Set in chair ski, pulled by truck. Uh -huh. Chair ski, go up ramp. Super Dave, jump over bus. Wow, that's amazing. Well, let you me know. show you. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but just looking at it uh, makes me grin with amusement. Uh, uh, right, right here, I have a chair built on skis, as you can see, instead of normal skis. Now, anyone can go outside and go up a ramp on normal skis, but I will be sitting, uh, which makes it a real challenge. I will then be pulled by this uh, two and a half ton truck, uh -huh. which has special rocket motors inside, so it can really take mm -hmm. off. Uh, Fuge will be in here as my spotter. Now, have you ever been water skiing, Michael? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Well, you know you have to have a spotter, because Fuji's going to have to say, move a little bit to the left. He can also talk to the driver, pick up your speed a little bit, Pat. And, and uh, so he will be my navigator, and my life is in his hands. Well, that's so it's very in important. Pretty good hands. Yes. <laughs> now, what I'll be doing is, you see this ramp here? Ooh, yes, I do. This is called a kick ramp. And what Fuji has designed is, I should hit this ramp at about 50 miles an hour. However, when I hit this ramp, it will kick me to 90. Straight up. <laughs> and over the bus. And what I hope to do, and I haven't tried it, is while I am midair, in midair, locked in the chair, I will try to flip. Wow. Which would be hey, really exciting. You know, I don't know how you do this. Week after week, you come up with these fantastic, well, death-defying stunts. Uh, I'm doing a show, and the public seems to like it. And if I stop doing this, uh, they're liable to turn on to something else. Well, Fuji, if you'll get in the seat. You know, uh, another thing I'm concerned about, Super Dave, is the danger that's involved in this stunt. Well, Michael, early this morning, I was out here, and it was pretty windy. And uh, that's the only danger. Uh, I've got such control, and with Fuji helping me out, uh, nothing can really happen. The, the only thing is I might not go high enough to do a flip. Well, But aside from that, uh, I'll tell the public it's dangerous because I don't want them to think it's <laughs> No, of course not. All right. Well, listen, this is all very awe-inspiring, and uh, everybody is waiting, so uh, let's get on with it, all okay, right? Okay, Michael. All right. Guys? Now, let's see if we follow Super Dave to see exactly oh, what's going to good happen. weather, didn't we? Super Dave is being strapped into his chair ski. And, of course, the straps are made of genuine, fire-resistant, Saskatchewan seal-skin bindings. <laughs> and uh, okay, now, Super Dave's skis are being clamped on with metal and iron reinforced double locking clamps. His helmet is a special wind-resistant polyglymon developed by Relman Industries. Super Dave is always mic so we can hear his every pearl. Uh, Super Dave, are you about ready? Yes, I am, Michael. Uh, I'm ready, and I would like to say to everyone, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, might as well pop a tape in your machine and tape it, because it should be a lot of fun. Okay. Beautifully put, as always, Super Dave. And now we will all stand back with the world and watch this incredible man attempt to defy death. 
death-defying, or for that matter, what is life? Well, this man knows because when the Super One makes up his mind, I mean to tell you, he wrote the book on death-defying. He knows what death-defying is, week after week, month Will after you month. you it up, butt face? I don't know how <laughs> Well, I see I'm getting a signal that the Super One is about ready to go. Okay, good luck, Super Dave. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Fuji, have him start the truck. Okay, pull forward a little bit. Slowly. Easy. Okay. Now back up and give me a little slack. Perfect, hold it. All right. Okay, now. Ready? Get set. Go. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Super Dave, are you all right? Isn't it apparent to you that I am not all right? I was just hit by a truck. Everything's broken. Could I get some assistance, please? Well, of course you can, and I really wish we had more time to talk. But this is Mike Walton with an elated Super Dave Osborne, a true chairs in the champion saying so long, good night. We'll see you all again next week. So long, everybody. Is it too much to ask to get me out from under this truck? Fuji, you heard him. Move that truck right now. Wait a minute, Mike. Perhaps you could first untie my hands. Oh,